You guys, I just saw this. I just noticed this. I've really been working hard trying to, you know, do this vlog thing and, you know, give you guys a little something different to watch or whatever. And my views have been horrible, you know, and all that stuff. And it's just, I'm trying not to get down. I'm trying to stick with it and not stress out about it. But I just noticed this. I didn't even notice that. Like, what? I have gotten a million views on my channel. And you know what? Even though I'm not doing as well as I want to be, I'm not growing like I want to be and all that stuff. I'm still working hard. I'm still trying. I'm still getting out here pushing for you guys, trying to make content for you to watch. I know some of you will like it. Some of you won't. Some of you want me to do more makeup videos, and I'm going to do those too. No worries, but, you know, I feel like we do have to congratulate ourselves and feel proud about different things that we accomplished. I think this is a serious accomplishment, and I'm not going to sit here and not acknowledge that I have gotten a million views on my channel. Like, what? What? So, listen, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep going. Thank you guys so much. Anybody who's watched my videos, liked them, commented. I got a lot of you guys that are like family from way back in the day that are on every single one of my videos. And I know a lot of you guys say that you don't even see my videos. They don't even pop up. You got to look for me. Thank you so much. I just want to say I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm not going to give up. Like, how could I? Okay, let me keep pushing and let me keep trying. I love y'all. Making our Christmas memories. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so I kind of want to do a makeup video. Go figure, right? <laughs> I want to do a little makeup tutorial, but before I do that, I want to open, I got some packages this morning on my porch, so I want to open these up and see what's in here because it might be something in here that I want to use in my video today. So this one is from Minted, Minted Cosmetics. I believe I got some bronzers during their sale. If I'm not mistaken, child, they had a really, really good sale um, going on. So, yeah, I think I grabbed a couple of their bronzers. So, very pretty, very, very pretty minted cosmetics. Okay. Tis the season to give thanks. Here at Minted, we're thankful for you. We hope you treasure the gifts inside this package and treasure your time with friends and family even more. The Minted Team. Yeah. I got two. Oh, Lord Jesus. Please don't let them be broken. Because whenever stuff like this comes in these little padded envelopes, I'm always worried. Oh, that it might be broke. Okay. So, you know, it's just in this little box here. <sighs> so, Lord, please don't let me have no damage. So, this first one is Yacht Life. I can't even get it out of the package. It's in here so tight. Jeez. Okay, this box is getting ripped. Okay, so yeah, it's just... This is what it looks like on the back, on the front. Nice, black, sleek packaging. Oh, please don't be broke. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, oh, and that is a pretty shade. Look at that. Oh, she pretty. Okay, so that's Yacht Life. That's the first one I got. I don't remember which one was darker. This one is Out of Office. And I think this one might be the darker one. Not sure. Let me see. I'm just gonna rip this too, honey. Because I ain't got time. So yeah, this one is Out of Office. Oh, yeah, this one is darker. Okay. Ooh, she deep, deep. She look almost purple. She's so deep. So let me just show you the two of them next to each other. So 
So yeah, first the lighter one is Yacht Light, the darker one is Out of Office. So very, very pretty. I'm thinking bronzer and contour <laughs> for my skin tone, okay? So that is what I got from Minted. And then I got my BoxyCharm box. I never know what's in my BoxyCharm now. So let's open her up and see what's happening. Maybe there'll be something fun and exciting in here. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Superfood Matcha I Do Refreshing Eye Gel from Elemis. I do not really do eye creams and eye gels. My daughter loves them. Okay, go figure. She loves them, so I always give them to her. This is tiny. Is this the full size? Well, I guess it's an eye gel, so it's not supposed to be that big. But still, this mug is tiny. So, that's going directly to my daughter. Oh, some sponges. I love beauty sponges. Do I want to get them in my box? No, because I can get them from Shop and Save for a dollar. These are Elena Badro Luxury Beauty Sponge. It's a two-pack. So, you know, I'm never going to turn my nose up at no sponges, but I can buy my own sponges for a dollar, okay? I don't need your expensive. How much are they saying these sponges will cost? Um to thirty four dollars thirty four dollars for two sponges child and it's ain't nothing special it's just a regular a regular little sponge just like the ones i get from shop miss a honey for a dollar so anywho these are the two shapes that i got for my sponges so I can use these. I'm definitely going to use them if they're supposed to be worth $34. Okay, what else we got? Pencils. Yeah, I'm sick of lip pencils too because they're usually not dark enough for me. So those are the two colors that I got for the lip pencils. These are, let me tell you, these um, EVO Beauty Lip Lip Spo Liner Duo, $24. So it's supposed to be $12 per pencil. This Elemis Superfood Matcha I Do, $39. This is, and I think I get, yeah, I get the premium box. That's the only box I get now. I canceled um, the, I can't even think of the name of it now. Y'all know the three month big super box. I canceled that. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, okay? This is something that, um, you know, I'm glad to get. Lord knows I don't need any new mascara. I really don't, but... So, oh, that's pretty. Really pretty gold packaging there. Yeah, so glad to get that. And this is from Stila, so I'm sure... How much is this? $23. Okay, it's not bad. Um, Flawless Serum. I do like different serums. This is from Epion Beverly Hills. Epion, Epion Beverly Hills. And this one is That's what it looks like. Very fancy, schmancy. A hundred and two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Just clear serum. Mm, I don't know if it smells like anything because I, I just put some lotion on my hands. It feels nice. Just feels like a regular serum. $195. A powerful serum that reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles, tightens and firms while providing the skin surface with a protective barrier. Helps retain water in the corneous layer of the skin, making the skin appear plump and radiant. Ciao. This I'm definitely using today. Okay. 
And then lastly, I think, is that it, yeah. Lastly, I have here Kenya Otaveris Beauty Glow and Go Kit. So I think this is the same brand that I have like the highlighter or the blush kit from that I got from Voxy. So this retails for $48. It's cute. Let's see what's happening. So that's, it has like that faux, um, what is it? Alligator crocodile print on there. I like this color. It's really pretty. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It's cute, but I can't do nothing with that. <laughs> I mean, if I, yeah, uh-uh. This is, mm -mm. I need to get this to somebody light-skinned. Somebody fair-skinned, because they ain't going to do nothing for me. So, yeah, I'm giving this away. I'm giving this eye cream away. Probably going to get them lip liners away, too, because, child, I don't want that. So, the only thing that I'm going to use is this mascara, these two sponges, this serum. Is that it? I guess that's it. That's all I'm using, because that's all I got. So, anyway, that's my boxy. And then I ordered, would you guys believe I didn't order anything from the Bath & Body Works candle event? Not a single candle did your girl buy. And I love me some candles. I didn't buy not a one. And the reason being is because I've purchased so many Jackie Ina candles that I just have those just backed up, backed up, backed up. So I don't need no candles. I'm like, I don't need to keep just buying stuff just to be buying it. I'll probably still have candles by the time the next candle event rolls around. So I'll just get some then. So, but what I did buy, um, I don't know, I guess about a month ago, they had like for their hand soaps, it was like, or I, for a lot of different stuff, I think like buy three, get three free. My girl DJ sent me the link and I was like, thank you girl for helping me spend money. So I don't know, it seemed like that was like a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or something. And you know, you can never have too many hand soaps. I'm, always using hand soaps in my bathrooms and stuff so i ordered hand soaps and one of them came by itself so it's already in the cabinet but these are the other ones that i purchased so i'll go ahead and share with you guys these scents that i got for my hand soaps okay and i got quite a few i think in total i bought 12 so in here, it should be 11. It better be 11. Let me go get my other one right quick. Okay, so this is the first one that I got. For some reason, it came all by its little lonesome. Maybe it came from a different location. But this one is called Frozen Lake. So this is what it looks like. Ah, oh, so, so cute. I love the little design on there. Oh, that smells nice. Strangely, it smells like a frozen lake. <laughs> a frozen lake that smells really, really good. Uh, I'm making a mess. Hold on. I don't want to have bubbles and soap everywhere. Okay. But yeah, that one smells really nice. Oh, it smells good. Okay. This one is fresh sparkling snow. So that's what that one looks like. I'm not going to smell them all. This one is Peach Bellini. I've had this one before. It smells really good. I love peach scents. I don't know. I just do. This one is Frosted Cranberry. Look at that packaging. So, so pretty. So gorgeous. This one is Pure Wonder. So it's kind of like rose gold and has the pretty sparkly things on there. I wonder what this smells like. Hold on. Let me see if I can smell this without making a mess. Ooh. Oh, that smells really nice. Oh my gosh, that smells really, really good. Certain ones that I really, really love, I try to make sure and keep those for my bathroom instead of putting them in the guest bathroom. <laughs> 
So that one is definitely going in my bathroom. So this one is iced blue lavender. Really, really pretty. This one will match, I think, do I have this color in my bathroom? Kind of, kind of. This one here, oh, this is really pretty. Pineapple mango. Look at that. Those flowers on there, gorgeous. Pineapple mango. Let me see if I like this one. It just sounds like it smells good, but who knows? Mmm. Oh, yes. Oh, that smells good. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to, like, make a list of the ones that smell really good to make sure I order them during the next sale. You're the ones I really like. I can just stock up on those. This one is called Winter. So, it's just blue with the little snowflakes on there. Winter. That's pretty. This one is coconut sandalwood. So that's what that one looks like. I love their packaging. It's so cute. Of course, I want to smell this and see how strong the coconut is. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Ah, I made some good choices, y'all, because I don't know. I haven't bought any of these before. Okay. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. <laughs> this one is called sweater weather. <laughs> very, very cute. What does sweater weather smell like? Okay. Sweater weather. That's nice. Kind of subtle. Kind of soft. Mm, I don't know. It's weird. It has like a little bit of a licorice smell to it. Or is my nose tripping? Sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Okay. I guess I can smell that. Sweater weather. <laughs> and let's see here. Kitchen lemon. So it just looks like that. Kitchen lemon. I'm assuming it smells like kitchen lemon, okay? And then cranberry peach. Ooh, look how cute. Cute little pink. Let's see what cranberry peach smells like. I guess I could have been reading the notes on all of them. Oh, that's nice. It smells like cranberry and peach. Whatever that blend smells like, this is it. Okay, so yeah. Frozen Lake. What does it say? Cypress, eucalyptus, and juniper berry, if you know what that smells like. Fresh sparkling snow. Icy melon, holiday pear, and falling snow. <laughs> uh, peach Bellini. Peach, white apricot, and mango. Uh, frosted cranberry. Frosted cranberry, red delicious apple, and blonde wood. Oh, okay. Uh, pure Wonder. Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. Smells really, really good, okay? Um, Iced Blue Lavender. Iced Lavender, Clary Sage, and Chilled Musk. Pineapple Mango, that one smells really good. I told you guys, Pineapple Mango and Vine Ripened Raspberry. Winter is Spiced Orange, Fur, balsam, and clove buds. Hmm. And then the coconut sandalwood, which smells amazing. Coconut, luxurious sandalwood, and warm musk. So, honey, I picked some good ones because they all smell amazing. So, anywho, yeah, that's it. I'm going to film a quick little makeup video, I think, today. And I'll show you guys the final look, but... I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Hi, y'all. I'm back. Came to show you my final eye look. Hey, boo. I'm digging that eye look, too. <laughs> you digging it? We digging it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is the final eye look from the Blend Bunny palette. <laughs> and if you want to hear my thoughts on this, then you have to watch that video. I'm not giving y'all no information in this video, so... You have to watch the tutorial for this eye look, but this is it, okay? So, anyways, while I'm on here, just right quick, 
before hubby get too comfortable because I'm trying to get out of here, okay? If he take off his shoes, he ain't taking me nowhere. <laughs> so, I got some alt fragrances. I ordered these. They came pretty quick. I think I ordered them like last week. I'm not that familiar with alt. Um, but I did want to check them out because I hear a lot of people talking about them. So, yeah, it's alt. And it says... Cruelty free, proudly handcrafted in the U.S. of A. And I don't see any notes on these boxes or anything. It looks like these are just like generic boxes for all of their scents. So let me just open them up right quick. So I have Alt Tender Flu. Is it Fluency? Yeah, Tender Fluency. So I'm going to leave a little space on the screen so I can put the notes on there for you guys just to see. Um, see if I can oh that's nice very very nice very soft I like that one uh, let's see what this is here this one oh crystal number 23 I think I have heard a lot of people talking about this and that's what kind of made me want to check it out so I still have the scent from that first one in my nose but That smells nice as well. Very, very nice. Mmm. That actually smells really good. Kind of sexy. Okay, so let's see here. I got two more. This one is Caribbean Water number 52. So that's what that one looks like. And they're very clean, straightforward, generic packaging. I'm sure that has something to do with the branding you know, maybe to save cost and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me smell this one. Oh, that last one smells really good. That crystal number 23. Hello. Mmm. Now, that smells very different. I don't see what the notes are because it's not on here. I'll put them on the screen so you guys can get an idea of, you know, what I'm smelling. That smells good, but it's very different. That's very different than my usual giddy up of what I would reach for. So I like that. I might actually. Mm, mm, that is a little bit masculine to me. It's a little more masculine than something I would normally wear. So this last one here is Alt Girl Gone Wild number 88. So that's what that one looks like. So, let's see what this smells like. Oh, that smells nice. Mmm, that smells really nice. I'm really curious to see what the notes are on this because I have no idea. But it smells nice. Very nice, very different. So, I like all of them for various different reasons. I would say this Caribbean Water number 52 is the one that I would probably be least likely to reach for. Just because it's a little more masculine uh, for my liking. I don't know why, but it just is. So, anywho, that's it. I just wanted to pop in and share those with you guys. Let you know what new scents I got and let you know what they smell like okay
So I had this nice little cabinet put together today. The guy was very professional. It took him maybe about two and a half hours, I guess. No, no, it took him about two hours. But it's a really nice looking cabinet. I do not like putting things together myself. <laughs> I've put a many, many of things together myself over the years, but you know, now, if I can just get someone to do it, you know, for like a hundred bucks or something, I feel like it's worth it, the time and energy. And, you know, you make sure it's put together right. So yeah, he did a great job, you guys. So this is actually going in my bathroom. So now I have to maneuver and kind of rearrange so I can get this in there. But yeah, I love it. Today is really nice. It's kind of chilly chill. It is a rainy day outside, you guys. I don't know if you can see, but it is a rainy day. Where's Bosco? Bosco is probably in his house staying out the rain. But yeah, it is a rainy day today. So it's perfect for organizing, cleaning, and all that stuff. I got my tree delivered today, which is pretty cool. So right now I'm organizing the cabinet. I'll show you guys. It's kind of messy, but I'll show you. My bathroom is an absolute mess right now because I used to have um all of my stuff like in cubbies and you know like organized that way but since i have my new cabinet in here i'm kind of going through and just trying to organize and make things a little bit neater so your girl got a lot of stuff so it's gonna take me a minute to go through all of this stuff but that's what i'm doing right now so i'll show you guys the final product Okay, you guys, so I'm basically done um, putting everything in the cabinet. I gave hubby the top shelf there. <laughs> Trying to be nice, okay? Gave hubby the top shelf. Um, and then as you can see, I have here like just some of my basic bathroom essentials and stuff, um, along with my body sprays and a lot of lotions that I've accumulated over time with you know alcohol peroxide all that stuff down here i have some skincare items in my drawers um these are just like my travel perfumes that i like to grab whenever i pack my travel bag a couple of scents that i've been wearing recently um masks these are all skincare masks so i keep them handy these are random soaps and body washes down here i just um well in my drawer I have, um, you know, some incidentals, as you can see. I've organized uh, some toothbrushes, some razors, some facial massagers and foot scrubbers. I have my little Shiseido pads, you know, bath bomb, just some random stuff in the drawer. And then down here, I kind of just pulled out uh, the sponges that we use, the body scrubbing gloves. This is a little container that has all of my items that I use to clean my brushes in there. When I clean my brushes, I do like to put a bar of soap in a bar of soap holder because it's just easier for me to rub my brushes through there to clean them. Um, and then I have my, you know, little scrubber pads that I use to clean my brushes. Down there, I just left some random stuff in cubbies because they are stuff that I don't want to go through right now. I have a big um, little... These I actually use 
you know, when I go to the gym, old school, I put these on my wrist to wipe my sweat so I don't have to walk around with a towel. And then I also use these when I wash my face. They're just like terry cloth wristbands, you know, so you don't have the water dripping down your arm when you're washing your face. So it works out nicely for that. And then I also have this big bag of, bag of scrunchies. Don't ask me why they were on sale on Amazon. <laughs> where you get like 5 million different colored scrunchies in this bag. So I'll never have to worry about trying to find a scrunchie. So that is what is in there. So I think I made a good, you know, use of space. I can still kind of organize a little bit better, I think, but that's good enough for now, okay? Because your girl got a lot of stuff. So anyways, that is it. So this is the final result, you guys. I have to stand way back here because of how big this tree is. <laughs> it's huge. It is 7.5 feet, I believe. And it's beautiful. I really, really like it. So I picked a good one, I think, off of Amazon. Now I just have to go to storage, get my decorations and my ornaments and all that good stuff. And then I can finish kind of decorating in here. I haven't really worried about the regular decorating because I knew I was going to put a lot of Christmas stuff out. So my mantle should be here by Saturday for my fireplace. And I brought this shelf in here, actually, that was in the bathroom, the one I replaced. And so I'll probably put some Christmas decor on here as well. So anywho, tree is up. Okay, so I accomplished that today.